I'm using the Osho Zen Tarot for this particular uh, energy read. So the first card is the lover's card. So there looks like there might be some kind of really strong physical uh, relationship coming your way. Um, you know, you may be very, very attracted to somebody at this particular moment. And it looks like, um, you know, it might develop into something really strong or very, very, um, you know, long term. But it's a very intense relationship that is coming your way. And you've got the flowering card immediately below it. So it seems like it's going to grow and prosper and become something really good. It's the beginnings of something and you're very attracted to this person. And it looks like it might end up, um, you know, becoming something uh, better. It's, uh, you know, it, it's going to blossom. It's going to bloom. Um, and, uh, you know, it's going to make you feel really good as well. Um, this is uh, the Queen of Pentacles, so it might be a relationship that's also very financially lucrative. So this person might be very financially stable as well, and uh, you know it's going to um, it's something that's going to allow you to be um, independent. But um, you know this person is going to um, be able to bring out the best in you. In other words. Now, you have been going through a period where you have been feeling very, very alone. So you've got this hermit card over here that is showing that, you know, you are coming out of a period where you have isolated it yourself. But that seems to not have come to an end or will be coming to an end because there's somebody that is coming into your arena that's going to bring in all this happiness and joy. This is really lovely big heart there. And it seems like there might be a soulmate connection going on over there. The lover's card is, uh, you know, a major arcana card. So in the past, you've got the five of um, swords over here, which is the comparison card. Oh, it says comparison and participation. So it looks like, you know, you came out of a very, very difficult relationship. There was a lot of criticism. Maybe this person that you were involved in put you down a lot, uh, you know, with comparison, you know, comparing you to other people, saying you're not good enough, uh, uh, you know, attacked your self-confidence. Uh, you know, they very, very much humiliated you in that particular relationship. They were always making you feel like you weren't giving your best. And you've got the participation card up here, so it shows that, you know, you um, um, you were married to this person. It looks like, you know, this is the Four of Rods. There was a marriage that ha uh, uh, between you and this person, and this person was always making you feel like you were not uh, good enough uh, for that particular relationship. So... Um, Going into the future, you've got the Miser card and the Master. So the Miser card is, um, you know, the Four of uh, Pentacles. It's about, uh, you know, trying to um, establish something that's long-term, trying to establish stability. So it looks like this particular relationship that you start off with this person is going to end up being something that is stable and something long-term and something that you're going to be able to build foundations on. And it's something that is going to be very, very good financially for you and it's going to bring in that financial stability as well for you. So something that you start off with a very, very strong attraction is going to be, um, you know, end in something that is, or it's going to uh, go towards something that is very stable. And because Capricorn is an earth sign, you like your stability and, you know, you're going to be putting down roots with this person. So it's going to be something that, uh, you know, you might be even buying a home together or you might be even making another commitment. This might, you know, you might be getting married to this person or, uh, you know, having a long term commitment commitment with this person. So it's going to be something that is going to um, grow into something very, very stable. And this person that you're going to be involved in is going to make you feel really good about yourself. You've got that flowering card, you know, um, they are going to bring up the best in you. And then you've got the master card. So it's going to be something that, you know, you will have, uh, you know, um, you would have conquered or you would, or you'll be victorious in this. And, you know, it will make you, um, um, independent of everybody else's opinions you're going to get back your confidence the you know the confidence that had been taken from you in this previous relationship is going to come back to you again and a lot of uh, you know uh, growth and enlightenment will come in with this particular relationship so there's a lot of stability something long term uh, something with strong found firm foundations are coming is coming in for you uh, it starts off as a very um strong physical attraction uh you know and the person makes you feel really good about yourself as well and you are coming out of that period of loneliness uh with that uh, hermit card so these are the energies for that those two weeks so something good coming for you that's going to allow uh, a lot of growth a lot of personal growth as well so this is the uh art nouveau tarot and oops i have shuffled this deck i'm just going to do the main read with it
So you are waiting for things to happen. Um, you've got this hangman over here, and um, this is somebody who has made a lot of sacrifices in life. Uh, but you're also seeing things now from a very, very different perspective. Um, you know, you've had to sacrifice maybe whatever relationship you were in previously. Uh, you know, there was a lot of um, humiliation by the other person, so maybe they made you feel really small and insignificant. With this hangman card, it's about, you know, people having a go at you all the time or having a go at your self-confidence. Uh, right now, you know, things you're waiting for things to change and um, you are, um, you know, you've become a bit more spiritual as well. Um, and, you know, you're maybe you're going with the flow right now. You're not trying to manipulate things. You can see this person's hands is behind their back. So you're letting things happen naturally. You're not trying to make things happen anymore. And you're waiting for things to change. So, uh, you know, the energy is a bit uh, at a standstill, a bit stuck at the moment. Uh, but the hangman is a very temporary phase. And it allows you to see things from a different perspective and get insight about things. And you can see a lot of insight coming in. This man's head is lit up over here. So you're getting a lot of uh, new ideas and new uh, concepts coming to you. And you know, you're changing your philosophy as well with that hangman. You've got the Knight of Coins um, crossed with the, this Ten of um, Cups. So whatever family situation you were in, it seems to have come to an end. So you, it looks like you were in a committed relationship and you seem to have had a family with this person, but that seems to have now come to an end. This is the Ten of Cups. So that relationship uh, is over. It might have been a water sign person that you were involved in, uh, maybe Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and you have ended that relationship. You've got the Knight of Coins over here, and this is you. You are now focusing on your work more than anything else, and uh, you know, you're working to achieve your uh, material success and your material goals um, now that this relationship has come to an end. So in the past uh, year or so, you've been now, you know, been looking at, at the past relationship. That cup is empty here. So, you know, all that uh, emotional loss that you went through, you've been maybe nostalgic about the past, but also maybe dwelling too much in the past, uh, thinking about all that you have. Maybe there's an um, element of regret as well. But you're also looking to the past for lessons uh, that you can take into the future with you. So you are, you have learned a lot. Um, but you are feeling very emotionally empty or you have been feeling very emotionally empty um, in this last year as you know you're you're still searching now you're searching for something new now in this last few months you've got this ace of rods which looks like there has been a new relationship that has entered this is you know it might be a very very sexual relationship over here and it looks like there's been a lot of communication between you and this particular person so there's a new uh, love interest or a new attractive you know you're very attracted to this person and it might be a very sexual relationship that you have started or you're planning on starting and you or you're thinking about starting because you've got the lovers on your mind over here so you are very physically attracted to this new person that has come in and you know maybe you've started a new relationship with this person a very sexual relationship with this person now going into the future you've got the page of swords over here so this is a card talking about maybe somebody spying on you or somebody you know um, that you're dealing with is very dishonest um, so there could be somebody around you that is carrying tales of the maybe t talking about your new relationship to some you know the person that you were involved in a relationship so somebody carrying tales about you somebody lying uh, somebody uh, you know keeping an eye on you so just be aware that uh, you are dealing with somebody around you that's pretty deceptive um, and just be careful on who you trust with all your uh, sensitive information. Now you've got uh, what's going on with you. You've got the three of swords of year. So you are still getting over that particular relationship that you went through. That heartbreak is still quite fresh in your mind. You've got that three of swords and you are still keeping uh, to yourself. You know, you're not letting yourself go emotionally. You may be thinking of starting a new uh, relationship, but you know, you don't really, you haven't gotten over that old relationship and you're still spending a lot of time by yourself and you're still very, very upset about what happened. You're still very heartbroken. Now, it looks like there's that offer that comes in with this page of cups. So this person that you are very interested in might be, um, you know, also very interested in you. Because there seems to be some kind of message or some kind of social invitation that comes in for you. Uh, and, you know, this person may want to start a relationship and maybe they're asking you out. So some kind of invitation coming in for you, some kind of offer coming in for you on the emotional front. 
Now you are crying too much about the past and you are regretting a lot about uh, things that happened. You've got this five of cups over here and your hopes and fears. And maybe you're afraid that you're going to get disappointed again. And maybe this is why you're keeping to yourself or trying not to get involved with somebody. And you're, you're spending too much of time uh, dwelling on all those uh, past losses. Uh, you need to get out of that energy of negativity and stop crying over things that have gone that you can't change. You need to make plans for the future. Now, you've got the Emperor, you've got the Ace of Cups, and you've got the Queen of Swords. So this new relationship with this new Ace of Cups, so this person is going to be making some kind of offer to you, might be with either uh, um, an Aries or it could be a Scorpio, uh, a Scorpio person because the Aries, uh, the Emperor card is ruled by um, Mars and those that planet rules Scorpio and Aries. So this particular person who, makes, who may be making this offer to you is very much an authority figure, uh, somebody who knows what they want, very much in control, um, Maybe they've also been in a previous relationship, so they may have been a father figure, so they might have children as well of their own. Um, you know, this particular person that you're going, who is making this offer to you, they seem to be making this offer, um, and um, you know, it, it, it's something, uh, you know, they want to start a new relationship with you. Now, you've got that Queen of Swords over here afterwards. So it looks like maybe this person, this Emperor person, this is also you taking control of the situation, but I think it, it's more of the energies of the person that's making that emotional offer because it's followed by that Ace of Cups. So this could be an Aries or a, Scorpion, a Scorpio person making an offer to you, a new emotional offer, maybe a new, a new social invitation. Um, you're keeping to yourself quite a bit. You're very, very um, cautious you can see she's still hanging on to that sword. So, you know, you're just, you're very, very worried because if you see she's clinging on to that sword very, very tightly, but there's blood coming out from her hand over here, which is showing that, you know, you are hiding a lot of your feelings and you're still very hurt about whatever happened. Uh, you, you know, you want to show people that, you know, you, you are in control, you're, you're in charge, uh, you know what you're doing, uh, but that might be just effectively shutting everybody out, else out and not allowing them to come in and make this offer to you. So there could be this new offer that comes in from this person who could be an Aries or a Scorpio, and, you know, you're trying to, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like you want to um, get involved in it. However, this woman is looking at this man here. So maybe you, you have got feelings for this person or you are attracted to this person because it does seem like you're, you've got the lovers in your mind. So you are thinking about this person um, and, um, you know, they are going to be making some kind of offer. So try not to isolate yourself. You're a very determined person, very independent, and people see that, but you're also isolating yourself far too much, keeping too, you know, with this three of swords, you're getting over that relationship that you dealt with. And maybe, uh, you know, it's time for you to um, go out and accept invitations uh, or you'll end up being really unhappy. And, you know, if a new love interest comes in, it, you know, it might be well worth taking that risk on this particular person. Um, no two relationships are ever the same. Uh, so this might be something that, you know, could be very, very emotionally fulfilling for you, especially since it's the Ace of Cups. It's the beginning, um, you know, and... Um, You've got, um, you know, th those fish there that is talking about emotional fulfillment coming in for you. So you could end up uh, having a very emotionally fulfilling relationship with this person if you give it a chance. But just watch out for people around you gossiping and uh, carrying tales. So watch out whom you trust. Right, so I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. So there you go. The first card is the leap of faith. So this card, the, this is says, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, and do what gives you joy. So this person is going to be making some kind of emotional offer to you, this emperor person. And instead of isolating yourself from it, uh, the oracle card is saying, take that leap of faith. Take a chance. Believe in yourself and listen to your heart. It's time for you now to start afresh. You've got the magician card over here. You can manifest life as you want. Uh, what you need will magically appear successful beginnings. So it looks like if you take that leap of faith, something brand new is coming in. This relationship is coming in and it's going to be everything that you want it to be. So you can change it away, you know, to be what you need. And, uh, you know, it will go your way. You'll be able to um, get what you want out of that relationship. So something brand new coming in and it's going to be a new beginning. You've got the page of Ariel over here. It says an um, excellent opportunity will be offered to you. 
So it seems like, uh, you know, there's that offer coming in with that page of cups over here and with this page of Ariel. It looks like uh, this person that you're going to be dealing with is reliable, clever, educated and balanced. And, uh, you know, you should be taking that offer because it's going to be, you know, go for it. Uh, it's uh, the beginnings of something and it's going to give you all the joy that you want. You can manifest it in your life and this is time for you to start all over again and stop dwelling so much in the past. Stop crying over things that happened in the past. It's time for you now to make a new beginning and stop being heartbroken about things. So take that leap of faith and, you know, everything will come your way. It looks like it might end up being a really good relationship. And especially since you've learned a lot from the previous relationship that you've been in, it's time for you to make that change. So I hope this reading has resonated with you and all the best. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.